Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric and we are building a two motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas and this is episode 63. In the last episode, after finishing one of the most critical and complex parts of this entire build, the modification of the backbone central chassis, we moved on the next big step. We installed a locking differential inside the massive central tube. Then we took two original drive shafts from the Tatra and cut them down to the exact length we needed, while each of them had a different diameter. Then we fabricated a custom metal sleeve to join them. Once the sleeve was ready, we heated it up to expand this metal slightly, giving us just enough clearance to slide in both drive shafts. Robin stepped in and TIG welded the assembly. Then we added the pins and machined it. With the custom shaft ready, we slid it into the central tube and connected it directly to the transfer case. And it worked! Next, we mounted the entire assembly to the axle. This was very difficult for me to move it because it was very heavy. After we put it together, it worked again. The input shaft moved the wheels. Then, we installed the steering mechanism. We connect the links into the steering arm for each wheel. Tied up the bearing housing for the steering located on the tube and we added the hydraulic ram, which connects the steering with the chassis. Then I tried to steer one wheel and the whole mechanism steered the second wheel too. And after all this hard work, this is what the complete setup looks like. And in this episode, we're going to work on connection between the front of the truck and the back of the truck and we're going to use the components from this original Tatra non-steering rear axle. Normally, I would connect the back of the truck through this point with the front of the truck here, but we are going to move the tube into this level and if I lift it up on the airbags, we will have the ground clearance over here about a meter or three feet. It has never been done before. Let's go! Thank <laughs> you. 
going to use part of this half axle, part of this half axle and at the housings from these pinion gears and these two flanges to connect front of the truck with the back of the truck. And you may use one of these or one of these if you want to help me with your video production, there is the link down below. This is exactly the way how we will connect this tube with this place. However, we need one more part. The part needs to be flat over here. I was going to work with this part of the half axle, but later on I noticed that there might be even better material to make it from. This one.
now we have all the components necessary to make a coupler to connect this point with the tube, while the tube is going to connect the front of the truck with the back. This has never been done before and we are going to start working on it next time. I want to thank to all our supporters on Patreon, including Anthony Bushek from Walmart Garage, who just joined a $25 a month here. If you also want to make a difference, I would love to meet you there. You can support us through YouTube memberships, through Super Thanks, and you can purchase the t-shirt and the bumper sticker. The links are down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.